Minister of National Security Edmund Dillon has denied that he was found guilty in a New York court. In a media release today, Minister Dillon refuted claims in a social media post stating the minister was found guilty of fraud-related charges. Peter Christopher tells us more. In a press release on Monday, Minister of National Security Edmund Dillon said, I have done absolutely nothing wrong. The court has not yet commenced any inquiry into any wrongdoing, much less arrived at any decision or judgment of any wrongdoing on my part. He added, this is a clear case of maliciousness perpetuated by those with an intent on publishing innuendos and uncorroborated facts. I wish to advise all such individuals that this is highly libelous and they should be guided accordingly. He continued by stating, the matter is taking its normal course through the New York State Court system. On Sunday, an article originally posted on Facebook page The Brave Boy Report went viral on social media. The post initially claimed that Minister Dillon had been found guilty of fraud in the New York Supreme Court before adjusting the post to state the matter was still ongoing. Another post making the rounds on social media suggested a restraining order had been filed against the minister. These posts appeared mere days after Minister Dillon, following a press conference, denied he had fraudulently obtained property from Neville Piper. He told reporters that he had obtained the property as a gift from Mr. Piper, who he had described as a long-standing friend of over 45 years. The release from the minister also related specific facts on the ongoing civil matter involving him, including the next scheduled date for the civil hearing on April 4th. Peter Christopher, CNews.